Hey everyone, this is Tripwire here commentating on a game of NHL 11 EA Sports Hockey League. Um, this is my uh, the club that I joined, uh, created by my friend, and uh, in this game I'm playing uh, left defense. And yeah, so uh, we get a pretty big win in this game, and I wanted to share you guys share this game with you guys because uh, I want to give you guys a little bit of variety and uh, make a little change. Instead of the usual uh, just Black Ops and uh, and Minecraft videos, so uh, what I did in this game was, uh, or for this video, is I just took the highlights of the game and what I thought were uh, were interesting parts and uh, where I get like a couple good chances to score uh, and a couple defensive plays or uh, and and all the goals. So um, hopefully you guys will will enjoy it and. Uh, as always, leave me some feedback if uh, if you guys want more of these videos, if you want less of these videos, or uh, any other kind of uh, comments you guys want to make, because that helps me, and that helps me uh, in by you know, what should I do in the future, and how I'm going to present myself through my channel. The uh, thing I want to talk to you guys about today is uh, possibly doing a, a series in Black Ops called Road to Commander. Some of you may be familiar with it, if you're not, what it is, is you prestige and you basically go from level 1 to level 50, uploading uh, absolutely every game that you play, no matter how good or how bad it is, uh, and it's done with live commentary, so either uh, it could be like the reaction of, of me playing uh, in the game, like if I'm mad or if I'm happy or... If I get a pretty sick kill or something, but uh, it could be just quiet and it could just be uh, general talk with uh, whoever might be in the room with me as I'm playing. So uh, I'm looking forward to possibly starting that. Uh, I have to discuss it with my brother because he does use the account as well and he wants to play Black Ops once in a while and uh, I don't know if he's going to be willing to go through with the... Uh, with the uh, road to commander if he does that's great uh, you guys will get a little change it won't just be my voice you'll hear every time you'll hear my brother or uh, you know you might get a live game of us uh, playing in split screen one on top one on the bottom that's what she said <laughs> and uh, that's uh, you know something I've been willing to do uh, we're not quite ready to do it yet because uh, we prestiged on on Saturday a few days ago, and uh, well, it helped that it was double XP. We're already up to uh, level 41, so we're gonna think of it before we prestige, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll start to do that and uh, let you guys follow our journey from level one to level 50. Uh, it doesn't help right now that uh, today the PlayStation Network is down for maintenance. So uh, we don't really have a chance to uh, to play and uh, start leveling up. So we we're ready to prestige. So uh, I'm stuck playing other games offline or uh, playing some Minecraft. Um, so yeah, if you guys are uh, fans of NHL or either the games or uh, you know, in real life. You may have heard uh, about the Chara hit on Max Pacioretty of the Canadians. I'm a Habs fan, and you know it was pretty disturbing to watch. It was uh, quite a questionable call, and there's a lot of controversy. But uh, just a couple uh, hours ago, it was released that uh, Chara will not be suspended, and uh, and they they find that the discipline, like the uh, the route they took in the but uh, discipline wise was enough by just giving him a major in a game misconduct and uh, nothing further should be assessed but uh, as a Habs fan uh, it's hard to not say hey uh, you know they've had a little bit of um, history between each other and you know Chara being a veteran of the league he, he should know the geometry of the rink and uh, well, if you guys haven't seen the hit, I'll put the the link in the description below so you guys could check it out. Uh, 
it it's probably not good for those faint-hearted people that um, you know might get a little bit queasy at uh, any kind of graphic video. But I mean, it is a collision sport, and it's something that I enjoy, and you know it's always prone to happen in in this league. So uh, it's unfortunate that it happened, but uh, I I wish him all the best, and I hope that he uh, gets a strong recovery. And uh, he'll be able to play again soon. Um, so, another topic I'd like to talk to you guys. As I mentioned in my Black Ops video I posted up the other day. Uh, it's my 18th birthday coming up in uh, two weeks from today on March 23rd. Um, one thing I wanted to, to talk about a little bit is uh, the idea of coming of age. Because, well, in Canada, it's 18 and you're legal. I don't know where it is where you are. It might be 21. It might be 16. In Canada here it's 18 and so you're allowed to drink you're allowed to go to to clubs and bars uh, and you know you're, you're legally an adult at, at that age in this area and uh, you know one thing I've noticed a lot is as my friends have been nearing that age or have become that age you know they're all like yeah let's go drinking and you know let's go party and go to clubs and whatever and that's the problem I've noticed because uh, I was originally at a uh, a private school, you know, with no big problems or anything, and then I moved to a a public school when I was uh, 15, and I noticed a big change from a school of 300 students to a, a school of 2,000 students. That uh, you know, people are a little bit uh, you know more open, and uh, they do more. They're not as uptight as they were at the private school, so, you know, some of my best friends that, like, I knew, especially from grade 10 to grade 11, some of my best friends that I that I knew to be, you know, good, clean guys like me, uh, suddenly they're, they're out smoking drugs or, you know, they're getting drunk every night and being hung over, and, you know, that kind of disappoints me. It's, like, one of my best friends, you know, we had played uh, hockey for, with each other for years, back when we were like six seven eight years old and uh, we we're always like such good friends and suddenly uh, I go to the arena one day and I see him outside smoking a cigarette and you know that totally changed my you know my view of him and like the way he portrayed himself and I mean we're not like amazing friends anymore but uh, I mean that shouldn't change the way uh, you feel about someone but I was just disappointed in the decisions he made, and I mean, he's he has to live with it. I I decided not to go that route and to uh, you know not fall into the wrong group, so I don't follow that it follow that anymore. So I mean, it kind of goes with the alcohol too, not just the drugs. Like, yeah, I've I've had drinks before, even though I'm underage. I'll I'm, I'll admit that. But I'm a I'm able to control myself. I won't, you know, go out of hand and, um, you know, drink more than than I think I can. And I I haven't gotten to the point where I don't know where I am or what happened last night. I've been borderline tipsy, but that's about it. And I think having a sense of control, especially at a young age, is an amazing thing to have, and an important thing to have because otherwise, you know, you could ruin your body. And you could just ruin your friendships and, and your whole life if you if you get into that stuff too quick. So my friends are always asking me, "Hey, you want to go drinking this weekend?" And I'm not that eager to. It's I, f I don't find it a necessary thing to have a good time. I just like to hang around with friends, talk, you know, play video games, and go to the outdoor hockey rink and you know just have a good time and not you know it, it doesn't have to involve any alcohol. And they understand that and. The, the group of people that I'm usually with also understand that and they're not very into those kind of um, those kind of things so that, that's a good thing and that's what I try to to keep with my friends I try to keep an honest relationship and I tell them hey I don't want to get drunk every week you know once a month maximum is is good enough for me especially when I'm underage you know why don't we wait until we're 18 and we could go anywhere we want and there's absolutely no problem, no, like, we don't have to, you know, hide it and, you know, 
be scared to share it with other people. So, uh, you know, that that's my opinion on it. Take what you want from it, but uh, it, it's it's how I I choose to live, and uh, you know, that that's my decision, and no one will ever change that. So, uh, yeah, this game's wrapping up. If you guys take a look here, I get a pretty nice goal. Uh, if you guys want to see more NHL videos, just let me know. I'm going to upload a video sometime again this week where uh, I'm playing on my team as the goalie, as I do in real life. Um, also, I want to mention that uh, I'd like to put up a video of me in real life playing goalie so you guys get to see what I'm like other than just the voice behind a, a computer screen. So you guys should stay tuned for that. Uh, so the game's done. We got a big win for nothing. Um, if you guys want to hook up for some games, my Steam ID and PSN are in the description below. I will put the link to the, the Chara hit on Pacioretty. So you guys can look at that too. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a rating, a comment, or... Uh, subscribe because that helps me a lot and that keeps me motivated to make more videos for you guys. Um, my name is Tripwire and once again thank you guys for watching.